Hi! Bare Face Stella is back, which can only literally mean one thing. It's dyeing time. I haven't dyed my hair since November. Oh my god! Or was it December? I think it was November. Oh my god. Mainly because I didn't know what exactly I was going for. I never ever ever like to do the same exact color one month to the next. Um, so I was trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to go on. I didn't know if I wanted to intensify the burgundy. I didn't know if I wanted to go black. Definitely didn't want to go blonde. But I finally found the color. Today we're going to dye our hair two shades darker than it already is. Four, if we look at the ends. Yeah, today we're darkening it all up. I'm actually really excited about this video specifically because today I'm going to be using Schwarzkopf Igora dyes. <laughs> I'm actually really super happy about this because this is going to be my first video with them. I'm collaborating with them. I love Schwarzkopf. I never had the opportunity to work with them before. So I think this is going to be really, really freaking cool, um, especially because I'm going to try out their dyes today on screen and we're going to see how they work out. Today I'm going to be using one of their Royal Opulence collection. It's 319 Dark Brown Sendre Violet. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it's like a dark brown violet. And I think the color itself was called Velvet, which sounds freaking nice. So we're gonna do it. The previous color that I had on was a level five. The level five is kind of like a medium brown. If we're looking at like blacks to blonde scales a level three on the other hand is two shades darker than what this is dark brown so there's going to be quite a difference when we're looking at shade range so if we're looking at everything in black and white you know this color would be significantly lighter than don't know gotta get now it looks freaking nice so yeah, it's a permanent color, it's 60 ml, so for my hair I'm probably going to use two full tubes unless I actually might need a third one. I also have 20 volume developer in their Swarchkov Igora range. As always, we've got gloves, never ever dye your hair without gloves, a ball, brush and coat, and obviously an old t-shirt. Cool, so I'm like really excited for this hair color change. I'm 
Ah, look at me, I've got a fresh color. I dye my hair 20 times a year and the excitement is still the same every single damn time. <gasps> I'm not even looking at myself in a mirror and I could feel like, I could see like... <sighs> Hi. Might I just say, I'm really freaking digging this look. I think it looks insane and fresh and cool and amazing. Okay, so let's get down to the gist of it. I am in love with this color. I think I really, really needed color change. I really needed a bit of like a confidence boost because my hair was just in a kind of a rut and because of that I was too. Um, that being said, I am now finally feeling a bit myself. The color is a lot darker than what I had so I'm really really living for it. And one thing that's kind of bothering me is because my hair is porous, like really really porous at the ends. Even though it was a level 3, it still did not cover like the ends as much as the roots. So the roots are significantly darker actually than the ends. I don't really mind it because like this I have like more of a hint of burgundy in it. But I did kind of feel like a solid color. But I suppose it's kind of my own fault since my hair is very porous because I over bleached it. Regardless, I am so in love with this look. Oh... I made my makeup match it because that's what you do when you get a new color. So I am living for this. I think it was a, I think it was a good, uh, a good little investment in the Royal Opulence Velvet. Cool. So I'm gonna leave the entire procedure that I did down description box below. I followed everything how I did it. I didn't really mess around with it. This is one color, so I didn't mix any other thing in it. But I do look like I have two different colors, but whatever. So everything is going to be down in the description box below. I think there's nothing left to do except go out and enjoy my freaking hair. And so I'm gonna leave you be. Please, please, please give this color a go. Um, if you're scared of blacks, if you're scared of like going the full way, try something that is two shades lighter than black. Even though this kind of almost looks black. <laughs> go for it if, especially if you have really light skin so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you give it a go and i will see you in my next video